Hello, friends and family, and welcome to our conversation, boring meditation stuff. <laughs> uh, today, I wanted to talk about an experience I actually had this morning in meditation. I was sitting down and my mind was wandering a lot. And so I chose to do anapana. Um, normally, I would I would make an earnest attempt to meditate two hours a day of vipassana, but um, when that's not possible, and sometimes it's not possible, then I'll just meditate anapan for the entire hour. And I I started to do anapana, and it was difficult, so I was breathing a little harder, unintentionally, and I was finding that I could feel my body panicking. And I have no reason to be panicking. I'm, this house is nice, I'm comfortable. It rained <laughs> this morning, which was really, uh, really quite a relief from the heat. Um, and there's the, I mean, the pandemic is still happening, but immediately very little is going on to cause me true panic. And you may come across this experience. The experience is this kind of, this sensation of your arms sort of shaking and you may even feel, uh, there's a feeling like the blood flowing in your arms or maybe even your, your chest and chest cavity, um, a kind of quivering and it's odd when you experience it because it, it it's apropos of nothing. Um, you, you might point to things, you might try to explain it. And like, oh yeah, this happened yesterday. But in general, the sensation of panic can't really be tied back to anything so directly most of the time. And this sensation of panic is to be identified within the scope of meditation just as a distraction. Um, so there, uh, there is a book. There is a book, um, Mindfulness in Plain English. And in general, I have few complaints with the book. Um, but there is one recommendation the author makes, which I have difficulty with, which is uh, he's mostly recommending anapana, breath meditation. But in the later portions of the book, he recommends, oh, if you feel a sensation like this, something, something in the body, take your attention there for a little while and experience it and then come back to the breath. I would strongly recommend, don't do this. Um, this is mixing up two different kinds of meditation. And you can do that at a later stage, but initially you really want to choose the meditation you're doing from the beginning um, and say okay i'm going to do anapana meditation i'm going to focus on the breath that is my meditation object and if that's the case then this situation where you have feelings um, in your body sensations in your body which they might be unpleasant, they, they might actually be um, nice even, but no matter what they are, they're, they're a distraction from your meditation object. You've said, I'm going to sit down for 10 minutes and meditate anapana, and your meditation object is the breath, no matter what is happening uh, outside of that. And even inside the body, elsewhere is outside of that. So, the way to work with this is to continue to return to the breath. So as a distracting thought comes up, a distracting thought comes up, oh, my taxes, <laughs> or in my case, oh, I need to renew my visa, because that's a thing that's uh, a monthly occurrence now, uh, continuing to extend my visa while I remain in India ad infinitum. Um, Similarly, a sensation can arise in the body. So, okay, oh, there's a sensation is coming, it's coming, it's coming. And in particular, these sensations of, of panic or deep anxiety, um, 
you feel the sensation and then it loops on itself, right? It's like not being able to sleep. You can't sleep and so you, uh, you panic. Oh, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. I'm not sleeping, I haven't gone to sleep yet. And you're making it worse. And this is true of this physical panic that normally, I mean, five minutes before I started meditating, I wasn't feel, feeling panicky. I wasn't feeling anxious. I thought I was feeling normal. And then I sat down to meditate. And when you start paying attention, then you realize, oh, just underneath the surface, there's quite a bit of panic there, almost bubbling to the surface. And um, meditation is a way to, to let that subside. But if you are engaging it, if that sensation is coming up in your arms or coming up in your chest or wherever it might be, headache, um, and you keep going back to it, ah, go away, headache, go away, headache. Oh, I don't want my arms to be um, hot and jiggling or whatever <laughs> feeling there is that corresponds to the panicky, uh, panicky feeling. Um, then you won't get away from that. And in fact, it will be exacerbated. So the way out is to ignore it, actually. You say, oh, okay, yeah, that's there. Acknowledge it. You can acknowledge it. You can accept it. This is true. <laughs> I'm Clearly, I'm panicking. Okay, come to the breath. Come to the breath. Um, and it will, it will feel like a real exercise, right? It's a fight, a bit of a struggle to leave this thing which so desperately wants your attention a bit of panic in the forearms or something like that um, and to come back to the breath. But it is this exercise that will make you stronger. And then when you get up from your 10 minutes of meditation and you go to sit for your work day or stand, depending on how you work, most of us sit these days, um, you will go into your work day and try to focus on your work. And when these distracting feelings, emotions, thoughts, sensations come up, you will better be able to, again, just ignore them. You can't really deal with those sorts of things when you have to address whatever the work is in front of you. Um, and of course, there are all sorts of exceptions to that in the work world where maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to go for a walk. But um, this sort of microcosm of meditation is uh, it's actually quite realistic that um, when there's something important to be done, whether it's paying attention to the breath or whether it's getting today's tasks completed, um, you, you have to move away from this other thing. So... Um, I, I hope that people aren't necessarily feeling this, but if it comes up, this is natural. Uh, and this is the thing that many of us will, will encounter even during Anapana meditation. I hope that this is helpful and I hope that you're all taking good care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of everyone around you and I hope you're getting a good sleep. <laughs> all right. Um, take care everybody and I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.